Okay, we are still improving the time motion, and of course, we want to consider maximum height. The maximum height attained is the highest vertical distance attained by the projectile as measured from the horizontal projection plane. This is the horizontal projection plane. This is the angle of projection or the launch angle. This is the angle of projection or the launch angle. And this one is the horizontal uh, projection plane. This is the horizontal projection plane. Now, what is going to be the maximum height for this very object? It means that this object can only attain this highest height, this very high this position. It means that maximum height dy0 means that at maximum height 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 okay at maximum height it means that dy is equal to zero now using the uh, the third equation of motion this time around we want to use the third equation of motion using the third equation of motion using the third equation of motion which is v squared equal u squared plus 2ax okay now since we are dealing with vertical displacement therefore here become v y squared equal u y squared plus this one become 2ay this one become we use h to represent this you know we use capital letter h which is the upper case letter to represent the maximum height Okay, for this one now, I cannot say now. For this, remember I told you at maximum height, dy is zero. Here it becomes zero. Okay. Now here, remember that you that zero square, zero square is zero, and therefore there is no for the square. Okay. You know here was uh, v square. I suppose to put a square there, but that square does not mean anything there. Zero square is the same thing as zero. Okay, I can say zero equal what is the u y? Please don't forget for u y. Look at u y. We have our u y, which is u. We have u for u y. We have u uh, sine theta. U sine theta. We take notes. U sine theta. Okay. For okay, we have square. The square there. We need to evolve the square. We need to put the square there. Okay. We have our uh, a y, what is our a y? Please don't forget, the a y is minus g. Look at it there, a y is minus g. Meaning for this one, I will have uh, uh, 2 a y will become minus g. Okay, we have h. Now we, have, we can remove this minus, become plus times minus, become uh, minus. Okay, because this one, this square here can affect the, the u and the sign. Okay, it becomes what u square. Here it becomes u square sine square theta. It means that the square is affecting the sine and it's also affecting the square. It becomes u square sine square theta. Okay, this plus I uh, multiply minus, it becomes minus, become two, here become two h. Here become two h. Okay, okay, it's two gh. If you don't forget, we have two gh there. This thickness, we have two gh there. With at this point here, we have two g each. Okay, now let let everything here move. Now I want to move everything here minus two g h. If this minus two g h move to this side, crossing this equal sign, we have to become positive. Therefore, here we come two g h. Here we come two g h. Now we are uh, we have this one behind. We don't move this very one. This one we call u square sine square theta. Okay. Now at this point we can make h the subject of the formula. I will divide both sides by two g. Therefore I will have my h equal u square sine uh, square theta all over two g. Okay. This one becomes the formula for maximum height. Can you see we are able to determine the Formula for maximum height. We have been able to derive the formula for maximum height. Okay, at this point, I will end this class. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, JB Jungle Online Mathematics, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best.